Hey guys, what's up? Today is Sunday, which is also Father's Day. So I hope you give your father some good love. I know that sounded wrong. I hope you show your father some love this week. This day. Oh my gosh. Wow. Uh, like I said, I don't edit, so that's going in there. No, I called my dad today, and of course he missed my phone call, like usual, which is fine. He called, left me, he texted me back, said, hey, thanks for thinking about me. I'm like, okay, cool. And that, that's it. That's our relationship. Okay. Um, last night I did a video about my DVD collection. Part of my DVD collection. I really don't, I mean, like I said, I really don't want to go through all that again right now. <clears throat> it's like 90 degrees. For the first time in two weeks, the house is quiet. I am here by myself. My mother, her husband, and my niece, they're at my brother's house celebrating Father's Day. Awesome. I decided to stay home. I just finished my protein drink right here. I got this for my mother, Some this super protein be some metabolic it's supposed to help do a whole bunch of shit fuels metabolism do I feel no and there's no big deal but like I said you know a lot of times because of the hunger sometimes I don't eat as much right now I don't eat as much as I used to like when I was out and about before the crisis I used to eat out all the time I used to eat out for breakfast and lunch and stay home for dinner and usually sometimes they're kind of like little heavy kind of meals but ever since I've been home, I've been eating very lightly, so I get hungrier faster. Sometimes I had the little hot tamales candy to help tide my sweet tooth over. Today it was three for a dollar. Went to buy some other stuff because I went to the dentist. Everything's cool. Bingo! And so I drank some pro. I had had my little lunch. Had a protein shaker after that to kind of help stave it off. Help me stay off for dinner. So either tonight for dinner, we might either eat their left, there's leftover chicken that she fixed, and there's leftover pizza from last night. All right. <clears throat> oh man, today it's been a pretty, it's been a pretty chill day. Um. There's another video I kind of want to do, but I really don't feel like doing it. See, the thing is, I have ideas for videos. I have an idea for about five to ten videos. But, you know, I really don't want it. But some of them I don't want to do because I covered it years ago. And sometimes I like, sometimes I like to rehash an old video from a long time ago and make it fresh and new and clean fresh and new again whatever um what happened was I, I was train of thought I was talking to die my kid 100 yesterday he you know I yesterday woke up early grab some coffee like I usually do on the weekends grab some coffee had a little had a little breakfast you know, and then all of a sudden I look up and it's like, you know, I feel tired, so I'm taking mid, I take a mid-afternoon nap. I don't know how long I slept because it felt like I slept forever, and it was like 90 plus. So I woke up sweating. So I woke. So what happened is I like I was mostly around, waking up a little bit, start drinking some Mountain Dew to keep to keep keep me awake. Then my kid 100 called, so we sat and talked for a while. And we talk, to, we talk about a lot of things. We don't just talk about what's going on in our lives. We also talk about politics, sometimes religion. We talk about a whole bunch of shit. Okay? And a lot of times he mentioned he's talking to me because a lot of times he'll do a video right after he talks with me. Or a couple hours after he talks with me or something like that. And a lot of times I say, oh yeah, I talked to Diamond Kid. You, I mean, you probably think that he's this, this guy's in the next room, which he's not. <laughs> but we talk to each other on a regular basis. And that's really cool. Because, to tell you the truth, this guy right here, he's been in my corner more than some other motherfuckers in my life. Okay? Because of the fact that we, we kind of have very... We grew up differently, 
and different mindsets, but we kind of had the same ex freaking experiences in certain areas. Which I covered years ago in videos. He covered years ago in videos, which he probably took down. Mine's is probably still up. I just have, I'm just kind of lazy to kill off videos. You know, I'm just lazy like that, but that's fine. But anyway, yeah, I'm, right now, you know, TV is YouTube. That's what I talk, that's what I watch. Either I'm watching Disney Plus or I'm watching YouTube. And watching YouTube on my TV is a lot easier than watching YouTube on my damn phone. I played some, um, I was playing some Spider-Man PS4 earlier, then I realized, hey, you know, my controller is starting to not have enough charge, so I plugged that up, let it charge for a little bit, and I'll finish off with that a little bit, and I'll probably do some other stuff today. Who knows? I don't know. But anyway, the one thing that we talked about yesterday that struck a nerve of me was black conservatives. Now, if you know me any way, shape, or form, I'm going to tell you right now. If you don't know me, that's fine. Let me explain. I am a liberal. I'm a card-carrying liberal. I vote Democrat. Okay? There's anything wrong with that? The answer is nothing. There's nothing wrong with that. I told you in the last video, this other YouTuber said, for me to support Biden, I'm a freaking idiot. I'm a joke and I'm all this other stuff. And I think he's a joke for some of the stuff that that guy, person is saying. Okay? Anywho. But what happens, there's a lot of people who are black and who are conservatives. And I never thought, to tell you the truth, it's funny, one of my bosses, she was conservative. And I was like, how can you be conservative? But then again, I thought about it. She was kind of wealthy. Her and her husband was kind of wealthy. So I'm thinking, that's what that see, that's how I equivocate to a lot of conservative black conservatives. They're like wealthy. And one of the lines in the Ice Cube video, you till damn broke to be Republican. So that's what that's what my viewpoint was. And then I realized that a lot there's a lot of black re conservatives. The only problem is, is that they become conservatives for the wrong reasons. Okay? There's nothing wrong with you being conservative. There's nothing wrong with you being liberal. I'm a liberal, but the funny thing is, some people who talk to me and say, damn, you're not so far left as I thought. I thought you'd be like Bernie Sanders. I'm like, no. I'm more of a centrist. I'm a moderate centrist, so to speak. Some of my views are very conservative in nature. For example, yes, I believe in taxation. I do believe in taxation. I do. I don't believe in giving corporations zero to almost no taxes. Because what happens if they provide jobs, those jobs are not making enough money for you to live off of. I do believe that any job you should be able to make a living off of. Whether you work at McDonald's or Burger King or Little Caesars or working at an office. You should be able to make enough money at your job to support yourself. That's my sense what a good economy is. But of course, no one listens to my shit. Okay. There's some black, there's some very big black conservatives. There's Candace Owens, the Hodge Twins, the Amazing Lucas, Diamond and Silk. Okay. These people are in always on social media. And they have very big followings. The one thing I thought it was kind of hilariously funny. Okay, do you ever notice how I talk? Do you notice how I talk? Do I sound black or do I sound white to you? Because a lot of people... Now, the reason why I say that is because a lot of people says... A lot of people think I'm actually a white person over the phone because the way how I talk. And that's shocking to me. Even some black people are looking at me and saying, why are you speaking so proper? Because it's the English fucking language. Okay? Sometimes sometimes I'll throw it, uh, sometimes I'll say a little something, yo, yo, what's up, y'all? Or, yo, dog. Yeah, I'll throw that every now and then, but that's not me. What you see right here, this is how I talk on a normal basis. Why is that? Because my father told me years ago, which... When I tell you, it won't make sense to you, but the idea behind it does. He says, speak like you got some sense. 
grammatically it is the most worst sentence you could ever say but the meaning behind it is that when you speak make sure it be, use words that rely your intelligence okay because what happens in this because the way how he explained to me back when i was a kid in the street use a lot of slang and all this other stuff you sound ignorant and no one believes in the ignorance no one listens to ignorance so if you speak like you have some goddamn sense people will say understand that you are have some kind of intelligence and they'll take you more seriously and the funny thing is he's actually fucking correct one of the things that my dad taught me which i thought was bullshit is actually fucking correct because the way how i talk people look at me like wow i never do i never th i thought you was i didn't know you was black because black people speak ignorant i don't know really that's how you do think about this we all learn the same english language in school the problem is do you use it or not that's your problem okay that's your call you have candace owens you got amazing lucas the hodge twins diamond and silk all these people they speak and the funny thing is when you look at their when i look at their videos the comments one of the main comments is oh gosh you speak so eloquently and so virtual and you know you sound so <laughs> wow oh sheesh so eloquent <laughs> you know and the funny thing is is that are you saying that because them or is you saying that because of the fact that you don't expect black people to speak eloquently use perfect diction i wait Anywho, I remember back when I was a kid, we went to, you know, I went to an all black school and we, and they, you know, they, they, you know, they didn't get a lot of money. The funny thing, they never got a lot of money for our school. Stuff was always breaking. We always had really not the best school books or anything like that. And, but what happens, our teachers taught us the hard shit. Okay. They used to say things like, you know, they used to say things like there will never be a black pre you know one question they say you could be whatever you want so one says well what about president black people will never be president because white people won't stand for a black president that's what that's the kind of shit that they told us back in the 80s obviously here comes oh, president obama okay blacks will never be astronauts or work for NASA because you're not smart enough. Well, there's a movie called Hidden Figures about three black women who was so smart in math they work for NASA behind the scenes, but they didn't get any credit. Okay, they speak so eloquently. Oh my gosh, you speak so eloquently. And the funny thing is, to me, that's a low-grade insult because you, because you don't expect a black person to speak perfect English just like when now for example if you know someone who's not, never been in our country never wasn't born and they learn English and they speak this way you when you say that it's like wow this guy knows the English language very well and the funny thing is in your mind in your mind you're thinking, oh wow, that's pretty cool. That's awesome. I never expected that. But in a way, it's kind of a low grade insult, in my opinion. And that's what a lot of people believe in. It. But that's okay. They all say these weird shit. They all say this weird stuff. One of the biggest things is to say the left. They always go to the left, the left, the left, which is Democrats, liberals. They tell the left tells you to go on food stamps. The left tells you to get on public housing. The left tells you this. The left tells you that. Now, I'm going to tell you something. I'm almost 50. No Democrat told me to go on food stamps. No Republican ever told me to go on food stamps. So who told me to go on food stamps? Society tells me I should go on food stamps. It's not the left. It's not the right. It's society as a whole. And the problem is that 
I was born in the United States of America. You may have been born in the United States of America, but guess what? The, but the America that we live in and grew up in is slightly different. If you grew up in an affluent neighborhood, your life is totally different than someone, that, someone who grew up in the hood or the trailer park. Totally different. Totally different realities. Totally different perceptions. Okay? So, right then and there, that kind of tells you something. The America you grew up in is different from the America I grew up in. Some of you are probably not as old as I am. Probably some of you are probably half my age. And some of the stuff that I told that I grew up listening to and stuff I, that was told to me is probably alien to you. Because why would they think that? Because you think with your you think with today's knowledge of certain things. Nobody has told me to go on food stamps. What happened is society tells you that. I know my friend, my friend's sister in high school. She graduated from high school, had was dating some dude. The fun thing is, is that I knew the dude was no good. Her brother, my her fr my friend knew he was no good. Everybody in her fan, you know, most but what happened? Some people in the family didn't think he was a good, he think he was okay. So what happened was. Everything's going good. She ends up getting pregnant. What happened? Motherfucker takes off. So she's looking around and said, what can I do? This man, this motherfucker got me pregnant and don't want to take care of his shit. Well, what happens? Society says, what I mean by society, people around. People around you will say, well, you know what? You got to go on those food stamps, girl. You got to go on that public housing. You got to get all that shit. You got to get all that shit. That's the only way that's going to take care of you. Okay? That See, that's what I mean by society. No, di I mean, tell you the truth, they may be Democrats, and these people may have been individually Democrats, but guess what? Well, let's put it this way. Semantically, the left and the right don't tell you to go on food stamps. People, whether their public affiliation is to go on food stamps. Now, me personally, I would not tell a woman to go on food stamps. I would say go to friend. I'll go to friend of the court. One, why will you? Why are you dealing with a man that don't have a job, who's not making money, and you think he's going to stay around you that time? Guess what? If I talk to that motherfucker, he's going to be like, "Man, I can't stand that bitch anymore." And he's going to blame, put the blame on you, because I don't know why. For example, when I was in college, there was this one woman. She got into a program to where she's on Section 8. And what happened was they said you can stay on Section 8. You can get on these first social programs as long as you go to school. So guess what? She was in school, you know, trying to learn. And so what happened is that, you know, every month she had che regular checkups. People come to the house, check up everything, make sure everything's good and everything else. Fine. Okay, and thing is, she got a job at McDonald's, got moved up to a manager at McDonald's while going to school. Okay, so what happened? She used those programs, so she used those social programs to better herself. Now the thing is that when I graduated, she was still in school, so I have no idea what she's doing now. And I hope she has a really good job. I hope she graduated, got that degree, got herself a good job, and taking care of herself. But you see what I'm saying? When you use those programs to better yourself, when you get knocked down, that's I can agree with. But when you stay on those programs because it's easier for you, that's what I disagree with. Now the problem is, it's not a left or a right problem. But what happens, these guys, oh. I heard something moving in the backyard. It was a gopher. <laughs> Got kind of fat. <laughs> but anyway, it's these people who try to tell you this stuff. Walk away from the left. Walk away from the left because of this. And you know why? Because they say walk away from the left because of the fact that 
they they say the left tries to keep you down. The left tries to do this to keep you down. The funny thing is, is that if I remember correctly, during this COVID-19 crisis, the left was trying to create a stimulus package for people like me, people like you. But the right says, well, if you're gonna bail out, if you're gonna give help to the American people, you gotta give help to these corporations that we just gave a million. And what happens to the Democrats is like, the left says, wait, hold on a second. They just got a big ass tax break. Why the hell shouldn't the American people be more important? But what happened to the left, the right kept saying, corporation, corporation, corporations. That's my take on it. That's my take on it. But you could you could you could agree or disagree with that, and that's fine. That's awesome. If you do, that's great. That's fine. I don't mind if you disagree with me. I don't mind it at all. If you say art, well, you know, I think you're wrong on that one, bro. Well, okay, that's fine. But this is my comprehension of it. I'm not going to be arrogant enough to tell you that you're supporting the wrong cause. No, I'm not going to do that. That's dumb. That's fucking arrogant to me. Like, for example, if you say if you vote for George Biden, you're an idiot, you're a fool. That's arrogance. But anyway, but you see what I'm saying? The left don't tell you. Let me tell you, let me tell you, the, let me tell you the absolute truth. And I'm going to tell you the absolute truth. So here's the thing. And mark my words. The left don't really do shit for the American people. Okay? They really don't. The, the left don't... They try to do stuff for the American people, but they really don't do something for the American people. The right don't take care of the American people themselves either. Both sides don't actually take care of you personally. They don't. They promote things to help you out. For example... The right says, you know what, we're going to give everybody a tax break. So guess what? Now, that means I get an extra two to $300 a month in my paycheck. And a lot of people say, yeah, that's great. Why is this guy who's super rich saving millions and billions of dollars and I'm saving like five to $6,000 on my taxes this year? Is that fair? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Sounds fair to some people, especially on the right. The left, like, no, that's not fair at all. Because the American people, who the people who don't make that kind of money, they need the tax break more than you guys because even though they pay more in taxes than you, like for example, a corporation or a rich person might pay a million dollars in taxes. But that's gonna be like 10% of his own income. While me and you will pay 30% of our income, up to 30% of our own income. Is that really fair? See, Democrats try to fight for fairness. And what happens, the rights will say, they believe in over, overly taxation people. See, that's the difference between the right and the left on an issue. To a certain extent. Then, of course, you got the extremist, like Rand Paul on the right, AOC on the left. AOC is needed on the left to keep the left open and honest and grounded. Because you start, if more people start going that way, it gets a little bit more hectic to a certain extent. But the fun thing is she did bring up a lot of decent points. But the, what, but the problem is, is that both sides bring up decent points, but you got to look at it. But what happened was, my dad told me this. Even though this is Father's Day, my dad told me some things. Speak like you got some sense. Okay, fine. He says, in life, I'm trying to remember exactly how he said it. In life, the only way you're going to get shit is that you got to go out and get it your damn fucking self. In other words, you want a new car? You bust your ass. You save your money and get that new car. 
The left is not going to provide you with a new car. The right is not going to provide you with a new car. If you want a new car, you got to be it yourself. The right is not going to do. The right is not going to help you get a house. The left is not going to help you get a house. You got to do it yourself. But basically, what it boils down is that we as individuals had to do things on our own to get out. Now, what happened is people like Candace Owens and all them other stuff. They say, "Well, the black people this, black people that," but you got to think about it. Most of those people. Most of those guys, they never grew up in the black inner city neighborhoods where it's poor. They never they never experienced going to a poor school. They didn't have enough funding like some other places. Tell you, my parents put me in private school in seventh grade because the high school that I went to, they would have said I would have got a straight A average without even thinking. They said, Art, you would be like, hey, it's all the way. Because that, that's how smart you are, and we don't want that for you. We want you to earn your. We want you to earn your shit. So they put me in private school because the public school I, I was I was going to go to wasn't equipped enough to challenge me. Okay. Some schools in very other neighborhoods, especially some affluent neighborhoods, they get decent funding to a certain extent. Now there are some white schools. In some white areas that don't get decent funding, I tell you that. Believe me, there is. But nine times ten, those schools are going to be ten times better than most other schools. Trust me on this. See these people right here. Some of those, I may be the Hodge twins. I think they grew up poor and they built themselves up. But I think all these other people, they have not lived a life like in the actual. They didn't live in a place where eighty percent of the people were African American. Okay, so how can you tell me that I'm wrong when you never experienced the kind of life I had to go through? That's the problem. And the problem is when they say stuff like that, it comes off as condescending to a lot of people. Especially Candace Owens. That's why a lot, I mean, it's funny. I saw this video where this rapper T.I. basically tells her, I'm sick and tired of your bullshit. Because guess what? She talks a lot of bullshit. She grew up in Stanford, Connecticut. You know how rich Stanford, Connecticut is? They're pretty rich. Guess who's also in Stanford, Connecticut? WWE! There's money in that area. Oh yeah, they had some racist thing, whatever. But guess what? You grew up in that kind of affluence. You grew up in that kind of quote-unquote affluence. Now, you might have grew up in the slums of Stanford, Connecticut. That may be, but guess what? You didn't really live like a. You didn't really live in the actual black neighborhood or a very poor neighborhood. So you can't really say this certain things, and you're trying to tell people that the is this person. This is telling you you're stuck here. A lot of people from the hood, they look at me and they're like, "Damn, Art, how do I make a lot of money like you?" I'm like. You think I make a lot of money? Yeah. I said, well, first thing is, I went to I graduated from high school. Did you do that? No, man, I dropped out. Why? Why you dropped out? Staying in high school is the easiest thing you ever do in your damn life. Oh, I just couldn't. I didn't. You know, whatever. I said, right there and there, that's where, that's where you fucked up. Did you get your GED? No, man. First step, get your GED. Second step. Figure out something that you want to do to make you lots of money instead of trying to be a hip hop star, instead of trying to be an athlete. If you can figure that out, or tell you, do you have to go to college? No. You can go to a trade school, work in construction, become a mechanic. Guess what? People always need mechanics, so go to a place that teaches how to be a mechanic. HVAC, try to tell you the truth. A little bit of our air conditioner ain't fixed, so we had to call someone who knows how to do HVAC. So go into that, and within two years, you could probably make your own bit. You have your own business, make your own money. So you don't have to. I mean, to me, I sit in a chair like this for eight to ten hours and use my brain because all the information I have to use to do my job, instead of standing on the street corner selling. Whatever it is you're trying to sell, or calling people, or people calling you 24/7 where you can't even get a break. That's how I did it. While you look, see, you looked to the streets. See what happened is, 
because there's not a lot of opportunity in a lot of these neighborhoods they look to the streets for their opportunity instead of looking high outside the outside the hood a lot of them do and guess what society tells them that it's not democrats in which a lot of these black democrats black republicans conservatives will try to tell you that's what it is if you failed in life if you failed in life that's not my fault you know this one lady this one girl I know she's like I'm sorry this is longer than I really wanted to this video is longer than I wanted to this one lady said I don't understand this I'm broke all the time I'm this I'm this I'm this I'm this I said well what choices did you make this one lady went to school for accounting but she said she makes more money being a waitress I don't know give me I don't know that makes no fucking sense to me you get a degree in accounting and you make more money being a waitress okay then you get hooked up with some raggedy ass motherfucking dude who didn't really have shit wasn't about shit and not going to be about shit he dragged your ass down tell you yeah well we'll say she goes well you dealt with some women that cleaned your ass out I said yeah but I still got my job I still got my car I might not have lots of my money back I might not have my money still but I'm still around you know what I'm saying I could bounce back all I do is make some cut cut all I do is not be enticed to buy a whole bunch of shit and I can make I can make my shit back which I'm kind of trying to do except for I love to spend that's why I keep working. <sighs> but then again, like I said, hell, how come you just don't use your, I mean, hell, use your accounting skills to do taxes? People always want, need people to learn taxes. I mean, all you have to do is learn, brush up on the tax rules and you can help people write, do their taxes. You know, hell, make some money off of that shit. Hell, other people are doing that and they're screwing people. <laughs> You could do it the right way, you know what I'm saying? This is your money maker. Now, by the way, you know, to tell you the truth, I'm getting around eight hundred dollars in back in taxes this year. In prior years, I was getting between a thousand to twelve hundred dollars back, but thanks to the new tax laws, I get back less money when I need it the most. Thank you. Right. Thank you to the right. But anyway. But thing is, that's my call. That but thing, that's my problem to deal with, not yours. The right didn't say, "Hey, spend your extra money, catch up on your own bills." No, that's just what you do. But anyway, black conservatives, they have every right to believe in what they want. They have every right to vote. But when they try to entice you to see their side. You gotta first understand the side that you're going to try to entice if you don't know anything about it. Just because you're black and you talking to black people doesn't mean you understand what they're going what they went through. Some black people say, I never experienced racism in my life. I'm like, you're lucky. Ten years ago, I was walking down the street in Royal Oak going to a gas station and some motherfucker called me the n-word yelling out my damn yelling out his damn car I don't know but anyway my thoughts on black conservatism is it's good it's very good to be a black conservative at least but the problem is is that if you can't give your unique insight to the conservative movement And try to convince everybody. I mean, a lot of times they think they're critical thinkers, but they're not. They're thinking sometimes out of whack with reality to a certain extent. But, you know, hey, I'm a crackpot at times to myself, I guess. But anyway, I'm sorry this took a lot longer. I was trying to aim for 15 minutes. This is taking almost 40. I'm sorry about that. But that was a lot that I had to get off my damn chest about this matter. 
So I promise I'll try not to make a long video next time. I don't know, for some reason, my last couple of videos lasted a lot longer than I wanted to, probably because I kept talking instead of just bang, 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 whatever. I'm sorry. But, you know, I hope you're having a great day today. And um, if you like what I, if you like the kind of stuff I said, you know, give me a thumbs up. If you dislike it, give me a thumbs down. If you want to say, Art, you're kind of wrong on a lot of this shit. Tell me why I'm wrong. If you think I'm right, tell me, hey, dude, I think you're right on certain things, but you're kind of wrong on this. Let me know. See, I don't know. But this is my viewpoint on it. Maybe my viewpoint's not the best. I don't know. But this is the kind of sh stuff I've seen. So anyway, um, I'm going to go and... Um, do some stuff. So, have a great day.